Now, a second example says the table shows the math scored by some students in an examination. Construct a cumulative frequency table for distribution and draw a frequency, cumulative frequency curve. Then use the curve to estimate correct one decimal place, the lowest one for distinction. If 50% of the students pass with distinction, if, the, if 50 percent of the student pass with distinction. So we have mark and we have frequency. We have 0 to 9, which is 7, 10 to 19, which is 11, 20 to 29, 12, 30 to 29, 20, 40 to 49, 29, 50 to 59, 34, 60 to 60 70 to 79, 25, 80 to 89, 21, and 90 to 99, we have 6. Now, to construct the frequency, the cumulative frequency table, we have our mark, we have the frequency, we have the class mark, we have the cumulative frequency, and we have the upper class boundary. So here we have mark. Frequency, class mark, cumulative frequency, and the upper class boundary. Now, we have a mark from 0 to 9. This is 7. 10 to 19, this is 11, 20 to 29, 17, 30 to 39, 20, 40 to 49, 29, 50 to 59, 34, 60 to 69, 30, 70 to 79, we have 25, 80 to 89, we have 21, 99 to 90 to 99, we have 6. So for the class mark, we have it to be 4.5, 14.5, 25.5, 30.5, Okay, this will be 14. This 24.5, and 94.5. So for accumulative frequency, we have seven. We have 18, here will be 35, here is 55, we have 84, 84 plus 34, we have it to be 118, 118 plus 30, we have it to be 148, 148 plus 25, we have it to be 173, plus 21, that's 194, and this is 200. Now for the upper class value, we have 9.5. 19 .5, 19.5, 29 .5, 35 .5, 45 .5, 59 .5, 69 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, 79 .5, table to draw our frequency curve. We need to use to draw our frequency curve where we use the cumulative frequency to the upper class boundary. So this is the upper class boundary and this is 20, 
forty, sixty, eighty, hundred, one twenty, one forty, one sixty, one eighty, two hundred. So for our class band, we have nine point five. 19.5 so for 9.5 we have it to be at 7 so 7 will be around this point. Then we have 18, 7, 18, 35. We have 55 and 84. We have one one eight and one four eight. One one eight and one four eight. Then one four eight. Then we have one seventy three. 194, 173, behind this point, 193 year and 200. So we draw the curve. So this is the cumulative frequency curve. We have it, the cumulative frequency curve. Now, use the curve to estimate correct decimal place. No way solve for distinction. If Five students, if 5% of the students pass with distinction, if 5% of the students pass with distinction, so we have that if 5% student, 5 of the students pass with distinction, we then have it to be 5 over 100 times 200. So we have it to be 10. You have it to be 10. So now that be 200 minus 10, that is 190. So we have it to be 190. Now use the curve to estimate the lowest one for distinction. Now, the lowest one for distinction at this point of 190, at point 190 here, yeah, this point if it comes down to our graph here using the normal graph we have it to be 87.5 percent so the lowest mark with distinction with this is 87.5 percent and this brings us to the end of today's class on histogram and and cumulative frequency table with cumulative frequency curve and frequency polygon. Now I'll be seeing you in the next class. Thank you.